Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would go over the diabetes supplies that I would bring on a five day backpacking trip. I chose five days because that's the longest backpacking trip that I've been on. And so I'm just gonna speak from experience from what has felt comfortable for me. The goal is really not to bring too many supplies and then just to make sure you're not bringing too little. And it can be just a little bit scary to be prepping for a trip like this and trying to figure out like how much should I bring? So I'm gonna walk you through what I bring. I've got this little North Face bag here. It's water resistant, which is helpful, uh, just because of the humid conditions that are up in the mountains typically, and any rainstorms that come through. So what I've got in here, the first and most important thing is gonna be your insulin. I know that it's recommended to keep this in some kind of cool pack. I used to do that, but it's just a lot to keep up with. And then you're carrying around this wet, cold pack and it's with the rest of your supplies and it just gets sort of messy. And so I got rid of that and I just packed my insulin straight into my little bag. And I haven't had any issues with that so far. The other thing I have in here are my infusion sets. So I'm gonna bring two of these. I'm on a three day cycle. So I'm gonna switch out one time during a five day trip, but I have a backup just in case this one fails. I'm also gonna have an extra vial for insulin. And on that third day, I'm gonna swap out my infusion set and swap to this new vial. I'm only gonna bring one of these. I find that these don't malfunction. And so I feel comfortable just bringing one. I'm also gonna have with me two of the syringes for loading my vials. And the reason I'm gonna have two of these is just in case this first one fails, I have a backup so I can keep going. Next to my bag is gonna be one backup sensor. Now this isn't totally necessary because the G6 sensor has a 10 day cycle, which means I'm gonna have more than enough days of sensor time on my trip. But just in case my sensor gets snagged on something or somehow pulls off, or even if it just malfunctions for some reason, I'll have a backup so that I can continue going. Hey guys, I wanted to pause the video real quick and mention something that I forgot to say in the video, which is that the night before I go on a backpacking trip, I'm gonna swap out my infusion set for a fresh one and swap out my sensor. That just ensures that I have the most time on the trail without having to mess with those things. All right, back to the video. Next in my bag is gonna be my glucometer. I'm on the Tandem T-Slim, which doesn't require calibrations, so I don't actually use this on the trip for most of the time, but I was on the Medtronic 760 a while back and it has to have calibrations every now and then. So you wanna bring one of these if you have a pump like that. And I still bring one just as a backup in case my sensor fails and maybe the backup fails as well. I'll have some way to test my blood sugar out on the trail. The only other thing that I would have in this bag, which I don't have on me right now, are two manual insulin syringes for giving yourself bolus. The reason I bring these is just in case my pump dies or fails for some reason, I have some way to give myself bolus out on the trail. The last thing I would recommend bringing and I don't keep this in my diabetes supply pouch, I keep it in my electronics pouch, is gonna be your insulin pump cord for charging and some kind of power bank. This is an Anchor power bank. I've had it for four or five years now. I got it off Amazon. It's pretty light um, and it's gonna charge my pump, my headlamp, and my camera batteries. So that's all the diabetes supplies that I would bring on a five day trip. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. And if you think this could help someone out there, you could share this video. You can like and subscribe. That would really help the channel. And I'll see you on the next video.